guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i bring to you interview with phd physics student from iiscr why she chose this field and how is her experience in that particular institute uh, we will hear from her and uh, i hope it helps all the students who wish to pursue pure sciences or wish to pursue uh, msc physics or phd physics and uh, this uh, should be a lot of help so on to uh, palak i welcome you palak to my channel uh, so i would uh, yeah uh, hi mom i would want you to introduce yourself so hi everyone i am palak and uh, i am an integrated phd student integrated stands for msc plus phd student in uh, indian institute of science education and research tiruvananthapuram kerala and i'm as mom said i'm doing uh, my field is physics yeah and she yeah. is my ex student from 2015 batch 2015 yeah 2015 uh, she completed her 12th standard and now 7 years yeah. we will hear from her uh, how did her journey go and what led her into this field and how is her experience uh, why did you choose to do this why msc phd physics was it by chance uh, was it through circumstances like it, it, you just flowed mm -hmm. with what came across or somewhere during your journey from plus 2 onwards uh, you actually felt passionate about this field yeah i mean there's no uh, yes answer to this that yes i was very sure from the beginning that this is something i want to do but yeah i would say that there was a certain inclination towards physics as okay. my subject um as i had taken physics chemistry and math in my year, year 11th so there was a certain more inclination towards physics so i kind of figured it out like that yeah i mean whatever i do physics has to be a part of it mm -hmm. so i didn't have this specifically in my mind like uh, back then it was just uh, okay if i take in non medical then i'm going to be an engineer so that was like that initially yeah. uh, but <laughs> later on uh, i would like to mention that um, i sat for this exam for punjab university chandigarh Uh, for bsc physics i had a chat with my dad and uh, i told him that i like physics and i think i i want it to be a, an integral part of my life so mm -hmm. so yeah that is how i got to do uh, i got enrolled myself in um, my bachelor's in physics and yeah i by the time passed i got to know more clarity that yeah i think i want to do masters in physics and that's how the whole process kind of figured it out itself Yeah. yeah i think that's how things go because 11th 12th is too early to actually be yeah, able to decide absolutely. what you really want you know recently i uploaded one interview with tapsi uh, who again mm -hmm. you know worked on this journey for 5 years did his, her engineering and then she shifted on to english so sometimes uh, mm -hmm. you identify your passion some identify it earlier and some yeah, a little late and absolutely. sometimes it takes years to identify what do you really want to do it's more of earning a yeah. living initially and then you start enjoying some yeah. life uh, what do you do chal yeah. so uh, after your bsc what was the, what was the preparation required uh, to enter into iiscr yes sir okay so uh, let me start with this that uh, um, the institution i am in there are seven such institutions in india okay uh, indian institute of science education and research तिरुवनंतपुरम तिरुपति पुणे मोहाली कोलकाता बहरामपुर भोपाल ऑल ऑफर द सेम कोर्सेस सेम डिग्रीज या 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 इंटीग्रेटेड पीएचडी फिजिक्स इज देयर इन ऑल ऑफ देम एंड एंड डू दीस हैव टू या पलक आई एम इंटरप्टिंग डू दीस ऑफर ओनली फिजिक्स और ऑल प्योर साइंसेस या ऑल द साइंसेस आर देयर इन दीस इंस्टीट्यूशंस फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी मैथ And biotechnology some places the biotechnology is not there in in this place and mm -hmm. i am not really sure you can uh, hop on to each basically all icers are autonomous institutions okay. so you can uh, there doesn't have to be necessarily a same curriculum in all of them so okay. we can hop on to each icers website and just check the brochure that okay. uh, what all uh, because uh, every year things are getting updated so okay. i don't want to like quote something and you just uh, you can check it no, out no, that's fine website. yeah yeah that's fine yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, like uh, is there a grading also something like a rating which ones come above and which ones are the more favorite and something like this 
basically it's just on the outer it's on it's on the face value that you say that okay mm-hmm. this is the research output this is but it really depends on the faculty it really depends on the department the curriculum yeah. there are a lot of things there are a lot of things to it it's just not on the face value yeah so it you should i think if you like every iso there there's a, like uh, you know it's not like every iso has the best faculty in every subject okay just you should uh, the the preference is really subjective you go through the profile of each professor and you choose that okay this is the subject i'm interested in this professor this field interests me so accordingly you set your own ranking i would say that's right. the better way to go about yeah, it yeah yeah perfect so actually i think yeah. for all institutes even if you go in for institutes like iits iims you know it depends you know which subjects nits which some subjects are good in a particular institute and some subjects are yeah, good yeah, in some other yeah. so that that is uh, like that up i think yeah, the main things are based on few aspects but in general mm-hmm, there mm-hmm. there are so many things so that's good that you got yeah, uh, right. this point to notice okay so mm-hmm. uh, what are the exams and how do you go about if you want to enter yeah, into yeah. this test of jam that's joint admission test entrance test that's all india level test to get admitted to iits icers and iisc okay so basically uh, there is a, like for iits you get a direct allotment a base based on your rank including all iits like if you want to uh, you know assure a seat in one of all the iits you have to have a rank lesser than around 600 basically there are roughly 15 to 20000 people who appear every mm-hmm. year there are increasing uh, in number every year side to secure a seat in uh, at least one of the iits you need to have a rank below 600 so okay. that is uh, about iits but icers have a slightly different uh, way of taking students test is jam and then there's also a test called jest so jest kind of includes other institutions other research institutions as well like there is hri there is sn bose bose institute so this kind this test kind of it takes into account the other research institutions as well but for appearing in my case if i'd say to appear in ice to take an admission in icer so each icer has its own protocol they will do the screening and they will keep a cut off according to the applications they receive that okay this time they're going to shortlist this number of uh, students those students are sent out a letter that have shortlisted you now you have to appear for an interview my institute had two rounds of interview first after the first interview they shortlist us uh, like some 30 students and then after that they shortlist a couple of more 20 25 students they did so um, ultimately eight of us joined so we are eight integrated phd students in physics all over india in this institute in iits you get a direct allotment in icers you have to go through an interview process in other icers i say like icer mohali usually takes one written test and us and an interview but uh, icer trivandrum uh, icer trivandrum takes two uh, two rounds of interview so it depends on the institute so do you have to apply to all the icers separately yes yes you have to go to each icers website and fill out their application process fill out your rank and then they will shortlist according to their criteria okay it's not under a common portal that you apply and uh, no, no, no. includes all mm. okay so you have to do that for mm. individual so you have a fair chance at applying all like you you get seven chances basically to right. apply to these institutions yeah okay and it's not necessary if icer trivandrum keeps this cut off icer mohali will keep that cut off no it's the it's very subjective according to them uh, once you entered you entered uh, as an msc phd integrated student which is yes. a five year course which is a seven year course which is a seven year course okay yes i had three years msc basically first two years are my coursework the regular msc where they cover the foundational courses and starting third year uh like i i am in my fifth semester uh, i am in my fifth semester right now so i have done the coursework and i have started with my project which will be extended to my phd basically to say that i have yeah we can say that i have started my phd but icers have this um, not all but uh, uh, icer trivandrum i am aware has 
recently introduced in batch uh, in 2020 they have introduced an exit option that exit option is that you can take an exit after your masters you need not continue your phd here that okay. was in, this exit option was introduced only in 2020 it was not there before so once you take an admission here you have to leave after your 7 years otherwise if you leave in between you wouldn't get an get a degree but now this uh, option is there so if i want to leave this place with, with the masters degree i cannot leave after 2 years of masters i leave after 3 years of my masters my third year will comprise entirely of a project year so i'll get a degree of ms thesis the iits iits have like two year masters program what do you think of the future prospects what nature of jobs can you offer if you quit after say three years and what are the uh, better chances or uh, what job prospects do you have after you complete your phd's like do you get absorbed in iiscrs can you be there as professors you can be appointed or there is a separate procedure mm-hmm. for that you have to clear some different tests or you can just be a part of uh, the teaching faculty after completing your degrees from there uh, what mm-hmm. can you tell us about all this those who do not want to pursue phd at all for them i'd say since this is a place where we pursue pure sciences the job prospects for industry are limited for sure uh, but really it depends on the kind of work you've been doing in your masters or what field you come from for people who are in chemistry biology who have that kind of worked in um, a, you know environment where they can get a job in industry or can you know have or can continue a phd in collaboration with some industry that option is also there my field right now is quantum information theory i'm working on a couple, like couple of algorithms i feel is an interdisciplinary field i have a chance to apply in the industries which are related to my work where i have prospects so it's really uh, dependent on the kind of work you're doing you can go to r and d you can go to teaching but i would say that yeah there is slightly less uh, prospects of directly getting a decent job in okay. industry if that's your aim yeah so it depends on what field you come from and what applications it directly has in the you know kind of work you're looking for yeah so like you will be completing your degree in uh, 27 yes, yes and you passed yes. out of 12th in 2015 yes yeah so 15 to 27 it's 12 years yeah so yes. uh, you know i i heard so many people you are not opting for uh, medical saying that it's a very long field it takes many mm-hmm. years till you start earning even a basic salary but i think there are so many such fields isn't it like this is a long trail so years before you can actually uh, get into a proper job and uh, get that feeling of now being a professional and earning and so mm-hmm. i think every field if you really want to excel it's many years mm-hmm. of it this is a field which i am kind of following your footsteps i am on my way to become an academician uh-huh. so this field you are aware that there is no stop to learn this is the learning every never, never. yeah <laughs> yes 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 yeah. so yeah you are right absolutely that after my phd is done i have to look up i have to come up with a problem that i can propose so i can do a post doctorate somewhere that's also another you know set of years and then like yeah the journey is beyond 2027 also yeah that is yeah, very yeah. important i keep telling you know all my students and the new generation uh sometimes children say ma'am kab khatam hoga so i tell them it never ends and basically learn to enjoy every moment every day of whatever you're doing why yes, you know always yes. keep thinking of reaching some destination enjoy the journey the entire life yeah, is basically yeah, yeah. learning process you'll start you'll get into a job it's not essential you love your first job then yeah, there yeah, are stages yeah. you know uh, you might even sometimes think you know this is not what i th- thought i wanted to do so yeah, there are so many stages in life but that's perfectly yeah, yeah. fine that's how life goes absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> okay so how and, is your yeah yes palak you wanted to say something mm-hmm. so yeah to, to, to this i would really like to add 
that this these were exact my thoughts when i was in my when i was your student that oh, where am i going to land because there was no clear pathway in front of me it was just i was following my interests so it was risky yeah and i would really like to mention here that for people out there who are as fickle minded as i was i am even today <laughs> so for the people or students out there it's really i mean i'd like to give my example i wasn't the best at physics in school i wasn't the best in my entrance even at physics i probably got my lowest marks in physics in the entrance and i got my highest marks in chemistry always even in boards even in my entrance so ideally i should not be pursuing physics if you say on paper if you look i shouldn't be pursuing physics it i should be pursuing something that i'm good at but that thing is something that where you kind of you know focus your brain and ask yourself that do you see yourself ending up with this sort of a life or do you see yourself ending up with this subject so that kind of you know gives you a lot of answers so keep your options open you know there, there's no end to learning once you start and uh, it's really like the journey is going to be very very difficult and people will question you you yourself will question yourself but it's not that it's we it's much different than that yeah yeah that it, that's okay i think once you take a decision pursue that keep exploring keep exploring more options yeah and just be open in yeah. like in life open to opportunities open to learning open to trying even open to failing sometimes it's perfectly fine absolutely yeah absolutely so, uh, i think life should not be taken that too seriously it's okay mm-hmm. it's okay mm-hmm. to try uh, new yeah. things uh, for some people you know the journey is very clear the journey of life but for some people it takes years till you actually get that point where you start enjoying what you're doing and in yeah. you know every way you are earning a decent mm-hmm. amount plus you are enjoying what you're doing uh, you're not taking your everyday job mm-hmm. as a burden so uh, life is all you know full of surprises and variety of situations so but i think the upcoming yeah. generation is uh, uh, more alert i i have seen more my students yeah, 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 more yeah. informed i still remember mm-hmm. like when i used to uh, today we are sitting and discussing you know uh, like um, on a different level but when you were in 12th standard 11th standard i still remember yeah. did you ever listen to the <laughs> sermons that were given <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> so uh, it is a different game obviously that 12th standard is uh, 11 12th is not a class where you really like to listen to your teachers always and there are so many things that teachers are telling but they just go above your head i still yeah, remember yeah. yeah i still remember i used to tell you children about kvpys olympiads the dates are coming apply appear and that time i don't think you were even listening to these things <laughs> that's that's true that's very true because my friend she appeared for the test and i was like there was a test like this that that exists so she was like yeah didn't you hear ma'am told like okay i might have been zoning that <laughs> yeah that is some that is one opportunity uh, you know on a serious note that i missed out and uh, for people who are so this the degree i am pursuing right now that was after my bachelor's but people can uh, you know apply to icers after right after their uh, 12th standard through either of these channels they can sit for kvpy they can sit for icer aptitude test and they can uh, also apply via the uh, rank that they got in iit je advanced so they like there's a certain cut off i think uh, you have to have a rank below 10000 to have to secure a seat here kvpy wise i think it's discontinued right it's now. discontinued But, can uh, you this is a, something like inspire scheme inspire basically is a fellowship that's offered by the government to students who have secured top 1 percentile in the board examinations certain set of students they receive a a scholarship uh, by the government some 5000 rupees per month just check this out exactly what's the uh, exact amount and uh, i think there's also a cut off uh, cgpa you have to always have to keep awaiting this scholarship otherwise it will get discontinued when you're pursuing your degree right. so yeah that also need to be kind of com- like regularly checked to you know not miss out on the opportunity yeah 
Right. How was your uh, journey in your institute after you entered? Uh, your I I think you're there since two years now. So how has yes. your journey been? Comfortable, uh, very versatile in terms of fun and work, combination of both, or has it been very stressful? How would you put this? Uh, I have been here for about two years, one year online and one year offline. Okay. Uh, yeah, since I mentioned I'm a COVID batch student. Okay. Yeah, so nice. first year was online. Yeah, that was also an altogether a new experience. And uh, the day I came here, I realized that how much sort of we have missed out on an experience to explore. Because come to face it, we have to, you know, in a couple of semesters, we have to start with a project. And we haven't even explored the labs. We haven't talked to the professor. What field are we going to pursue? What are the prerequisites? We have all of this to fi to figure out in just less than two semesters with the coursework going on, with the labs going on, which we missed out in the first two semesters with which we were at home. So that was kind of a pressure initially. But I think the environment here is absolutely amazing. The work environment, the like friendliness, the support of professors. Professors are extremely humble and uh, everyone knows what they're doing and they're very open to conversations. You can just knock on their door and just ask that, sir, okay, uh, I think I'm interested in your field. I would like to know more about you. And the senior PhDs, I would like to mention this. They're very supportive. They're very helpful. So um, my entire batch is almost... Uh, theory people we uh, none of us have actually uh, joined an experimental lab so it's okay. all the more difficult to figure out you know theoretical field because you don't see things happening you don't have a much hands-on experience every day so most of it comprises of just reading and you know reproducing the results which have been you know found out before so i think yeah that was the environment here from the students from the seniors from the professors academy and like uh, this admin staff, everyone was very supportive and uh, they kind of knew that we are new, new to the institute and uh, we come out of a like, pandemic and everything. So things started falling into their places eventually and all of us kind of figured it out, uh, you know, in a short time somehow closely that what our inclination is and where we wish to work on. And the courses are well designed to make sure that you have a strong foundation to pursue a certain field. It has been a good experience. Absolutely. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was nice talking to you, Palak. There is one more thing I'd like to add. For yeah. the BSMS people, I love how the BSMS curriculum is designed. Suppose someone hasn't taken up mathematics in their 11th and 12th, mm -hmm. but are now interested to pursue mathematics. Absolutely, they can here. Which is something I love. Yeah, so it's a very interdisciplinary coursework. BSMS program is of five years. First two years, you have to study all of the courses. Never the, like Regardless of uh, whatever subjects you've taken in your 11th, 12th, whether it's uh, biology or mathematics, you get to study biology, mathematics, physics, chemistry, humanities, programming, all of it. So after that, in third year, you get to choose your major. If you want to... Uh, I, ha I have friends here who have their major as mathematics, but since they really like genetics, so their minor is minor subject is biology. They spend time in genetics lab. So it's a very interdisciplinary sort of a curriculum. And uh, there's no imposition from day one that, okay, since you came, like, since you mentioned that 11th, 12th is a very naive stage where you imposed a decision yeah. uh, that this is, what, this is what you're going to do for the rest of your life. No, it's too early, too early to So decide. you come here too early to decide, yeah. So this place gives you a chance to explore yourself a bit more. I like to suggest the students who are watching this to hop on to the website of ICTV. We have uh, interdisciplinary, uh, it's it's called I squared sciences. That's also another of curriculum that is offered. That is more dynamic. There you can take any elective you wish to take. It need not be of your, you know, main interest. It's just that, it's very like interdisciplinary as it as the name says that you can explore the subjects which you wish and you can choose which subject to major. BSM students get a very nice, very nice platform here to learn and grow and they secure really nice PhD positions, most of them overseas. 
and they get nice donations it's a really nice program i'd like to say yeah okay chalo that's really great i hope all this information really helps children who are trying to get into this field thank you palak it was nice talking to you after so long seeing you yes. grow up as a very confident smart <laughs> individual i still remember you from 2014 15 so it's it's really pleasant to see my children growing so well yeah <laughs> okay bachche all my yeah. best wishes uh, yeah. for a flourishing career ahead and um, may you just thank you so much ma'am keep evolving enjoying yeah 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 <laughs> i i i really i really missed on like it's so nice to see you after so many years <laughs> i still remember i used to be very scared of chemistry initially and i used to be very <laughs> underconfident i still remember there was one uh, exam with some examination and it was mentioned that i like explain mixed proportions mm-hmm. <laughs> and i defined multiple proportions there <laughs> i was so scared i was so underconfident back then that is something i would like to you know if i go back i would like to change that i'd like to suggest to students who are watching this please do not panic please do not pressurize yourself there's so many opportunities out there just follow your passion you need not be good at it those those things can be you know worked on interests are something which come from within that so just stay put yeah. and uh, with mentor like you i think students uh-huh. are in safe hands i think yeah. that's a time when definitely they should put in the best towards whatever they are doing but should not take any useless negative yeah. pressures negative pressures and negative Absolutely, thinking yeah. kya hoga agar nahi hua to kya ho jayega like i come so often i come across students ma'am agar mera nahi hua so i just tell them so what the world is not going to end there are so many things it, this is not the time to mm-hmm. think agar and you just put in the your best towards whatever you are doing and something good definitely will come across hard work does pay off so you you need to you know start over one that particular one yeah just start with whatever your heart yeah. desires at that time pursue that well structure your work plan and god forbid you are not able to you know perform that's okay something else is going to come up <laughs> so chalo yeah. all my best wishes pal and i hope viewers uh, like the video thank you all yeah so i would uh, really uh, request in case you like the video and you like the content i'm posting uh, please subscribe and uh, like and share and stay tuned for more such upcoming videos all the best god bless you